Welcome to Mitten Kitchen. I'm Amy, and today I am taking you through my vision board party. Unfortunately, my audio did not carry when I was recording this, so I'm going to have to do some voiceovers. But I'm going to show you how I set up for an awesome party with my friends where we started off the new year with a vision board party. Now, if you haven't heard of a vision board before, essentially what it is, is it's a visualization of your goals for the new year. So you take some magazine clippings and you put them on a board and you're able to look at them and remind you throughout the year what your goals are. And it's a really nice visualized, visualized way to showcase what you're looking and working towards. So I took some of these paper bags to cover up my table. I figured why not reuse something that's already there and ready to be used. And so this will allow my table to not get completely glitterified and destroyed while we are gluing away at our boards. So I'm gonna take you through getting ready for the party, which also includes making some pizza and shopping at the Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Tree, looking for some vision board inspiration they always have a nice craft area so let's see what we can find it's a pretty nice size this could work out really well I like the size I think I'll get these Thinking this might be easy. So I'll get a couple bottles of that too. We kind of love sparkly things, so I think I might get some jewels that are stickers. These might be cute to put like what the vision is versus just the image. So I might get a couple of these too. The night before, we're gonna go ahead and feed our starter with flour and water. This allows us tomorrow morning to make our dough. So I'm gonna actually feed this like 200, maybe 150, because we're making two different things tomorrow. We're gonna make the pizza dough, and my friends, I forgot they wanted to make some bagels. We got our water, and then we'll feed it with our einkorn flour. We'll get a mix. This is such an easy, I think sourdough is fairly easy, like once you get it started. And then we're gonna mix this up. So I just store mine in the fridge. I think I'll do a video of how I maintain my starter because it does seem intimidating and I just don't think it is anymore. So I'd love to share that knowledge with you all. But there it is. So this will sit overnight, get all bubbly, and we can use it in the morning. So I decided to do more like a focaccia style. So it should be nice and really pillowy, but crunchy on the outside. Um, and then we'll top it with our, our toppings. I think it will be, kind of be like a Detroit style pizza. That's what I'm kind of going for. So we'll do the sauce on top, the cheese on the bottom. So I mixed up the dough. This is a really hydrated dough. You can see how sticky it is. So we'll do our stretch and folds in about 30 minutes, but very pretty. So back at home, we're gonna go ahead and actually set up our table. I have these awesome boards that I got at the Dollar Tree that were just the right size. They were the largest size you had. they had there, but also a really good size for a vision board. It was able to have different quadrants and different areas to really focus on throughout the year. So I had three boards. I have um, two friends coming over to, for the party and just wanted to get them all set up. I have all the different supplies, which also includes some of the random magazines I have throughout the house, <laughs> like that one. 
and also all of the supplies I bought at the Dollar Tree which also included some stickers and some glue and just really making sure that we have all of the fun supplies to make this something that we enjoy looking at throughout the year. I always look forward to hosting at my house whether it's my friends or my family members. We have such a nice setup at this home and I really just love embracing that and inviting people in, making a delicious meal and just having a lot of fun. So here's how the pizza turned out. I think I did a pretty good job at making this Detroit style. So that is that lovely focaccia sourdough on the bottom, topping with all the delicious toppings. And then the sauce is the last part. And you can see here how ooey gooey cheesy it turned out. Everyone loved it. Definitely will be making this pizza again. So here's how my vision board turned out. I was so happy with it. Lots of things going on, lots of focuses. I love it. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun and I will show you what the party looks like afterwards. Bye everyone.